<laughs> Who's a little like water and oil? Brandy and Mr. Whisker. What's in the kettle and ready to boil? Brandy and Mr. Whisker. <laughs> Whisk many rabbit, point and put wood. Fell from the plane with no parachute. Got stuck in the jungle, putting down roots. Brandy and Mr. Whisker. Side by side, different as day or night. <laughs> but it's quite a ride, sharing our life with the trees. <laughs> nose to nose, they can be friends or foes. A touch of color definitely snazzes up the place. Looks great. Now, come on. I have more important things to do than be a curtain rod all day. Just want to make sure it's right. Whiskers, does this look straight to you? Left side, a little high, a little low, a little high, a little low. Hey, watch it! Sorry, can't stop. I got my bounce on. You'll turn your bounce off. You almost knocked me over. Look, I do. I just stop bouncing. Nothing can stop me. Bad luck to go under a ladder? Bad luck? Oh. Don't listen to her, Whiskers. That's just a superstition. A super what -tion? Superstitions. All that stupid stuff that supposedly causes bad luck. Black cats, opening umbrellas indoors, breaking mirrors, snakes in your house. Ay, 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 ay. Whoa, bad luck is everywhere. I am never leaving this charmingly accessorized treehouse again. Oh, come on, Whiskers. Superstitions aren't real. That is a risk I cannot take. Bad luck permeates the air. Your underwear permeates the air. This is not a laughing matter. Don't freak. There are good luck charms, too. Four-leaf clovers. No. Horseshoes. Close. And, of course, a rabbit's foot. No. <gasps> no, wait! I have got two rabbit foots. Oh, I must be doubly lucky. <laughs> Gee, I could have anything I want. I say let's give these bad boys a test run. Whiskers, listen to me. Superstitions aren't real. The bad ones or the good ones. Ugh, why did I have to mention rabbit's feet? Could have said lucky pennies or ladybugs. What lucky? Cool! Ah! Whiskers, I'm warning you! Come on, Brandy, relax! In fact, I think I have a little luck of the Irish in me, too! I'm thinking it was my grandpappy! Seamus Whiskers! I mean, really, Brandy, when you think about it, how do you explain falling from an airplane into the jungle and not getting hurt? You landed on me! Well, I'd call that lucky. Okay, what if I prove to you there's no such thing as good or bad luck? I'm all ears. Ever hear that it's bad luck for a black cat to cross in front of you? Yoo-hoo! <gasps> uh, Brady, that's a jaguar, not a kitty cat. Excuse me, sir, but technically you're a black cat, right? Uh, yeah, well, I didn't go to school, but yeah, I think so. Would you mind crossing in front of me? This is not gonna end well. Yeah, sure, why not? A few more times, please. See, nothing, nada, no bad luck. It's all a big bag of ah! Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Brandy! That's what you call a coincidence. You, and it doesn't mean you have good luck. I am not the one covered in snake slime. That was a one-time thing. Being lucky, if there is anything to it, involves a series of good things happening randomly that you can't explain. You mean like walking across quicksand? Whiskers, let me appeal to that tiny speck of brain that lives in your head. Don't do this! No dice! 
there's an easy explanation for this, too. The quicksand just dried black. Up, up, up. That was lucky. I know. Lucky rabbit's feet. Haven't you been paying attention? Rabbit's feet are lucky. Mm. Am I lucky if I can swim with piranhas, too? Yay, perfectly fine. They probably just ate. And all along, I thought these feet were only good for hopping. Hey, maybe I'm lucky in love, too. Where do you suppose the ladies are tonight? Ugh, whiskers, I've had enough. You're pressing your luck. At some point, it's going to run out, and it's not going to... I'm not going to argue with that. Ooh, those feet. I'm getting all goosey pimply. You want us to do what now? Bring me the feet of that bunny whiskers. Yeah, that's that's what I thought you said. Mr. Gaspar, sir, I don't mean any disrespect, but why would you want a pair of stinky rabbit's feet? I mean, have you ever smelled those babies? Oh, yeah. P.U. I want them because rabbit's feet are very lucky. And, as a connoisseur of all things lucky, I must have them. Oh, so that's why you have all this junk. Junk? These are lucky talismans. How else do you think I became the most powerful being in the Amazon? We just thought it was because no one else wanted to. Yeah, everyone else is pretty much content to just, you know, hang out. Well, I'm not. Now, off with you. Well... Get going! You know, it occurs to me, sir, that if indeed this rabbit is so lucky, then we're not likely to be able to capture him and take his feet. What do you suggest I do? Just ask him for his feet? Please, please let me have your lucky feet. But if I gave you my feet, how would I hop? One of my guards will hop for you. Hmm, no, I like hopping by myself. Thanks, though. How can you be so selfish? You have the only lucky feet in the jungle. You could at least share them. How? Let me rub them. Then maybe some of the luck will come off your feet and onto me. Mm, now there's an idea. Free lucky rubs. <laughs> come again. Best of luck to you. Good day, my dear friend. How are you? And more importantly, how are your feet? Fine. Thank you for asking. Just sharing the wealth. <laughs> Keep the line moving. Thank you. Thank you. Not between the toes. Bye-bye. Sorry, Gaspar. One rub per customer. Good day. Watch the toe jam. Enjoy. <gasps> Gaspar. I am sorry, Whiskers. I need to have your beautiful, smelly, incredibly lucky and rancid feet. Not for sale. Next. Then this is not your lucky day. Hand him over. I hate to break it to you, Gaspar, but I am the luckiest guy in the jungle. <laughs> See? Even I know everyone's luck runs out at some time. Well, uh, this uh, ain't my time. Toodles! Bring me the seats of Mr. Whiskers! This will get him. Well, that's odd. Fellas, <laughs> FYI, this river is teeming with monkeys. Eating piranhas, so you should just stay on shore. Oh. Hello, boys. Remember me? <laughs> you know, maybe Gaspar had a point. Okay, one more time. Feet to fail the I'm telling you, Toronto in the summer is just super. She's a junk. I have something to admit. You, you go, go first. first. No, no you. you. Fine. Fine. I don't I believe, believe in luck. luck. What? You are lucky. You're right. I can't explain it, but I'm going to rub your feet and we'll be saved. No, you were right. It's a bunch of nonsense. No, you have to believe. That's the key. Told ya. Told you. Hand over those lucky feet! 
You'll never take Armando and Betty from me. Armando and Betty? I have a tough time with left and right. And I have a tough time with right and wrong. Give that to me, now! <laughs> I am sorry, but they seem to be attached. The ears come off, though. Fine, I'll turn the heat up. Oh, thank you. I thought it was a tad bit chilly in here. Oh, that heat. You're gonna boil his feet? No, I'm going to boil him and then serve him with lentil beans. Mmm, I sound yummy. Then I'll add his feet to my Lucky Charm collection. Oh, Gaspar, do you believe in all that superstition stuff too? Not in an unhealthy way, no. Pardon me, Brandy, but moments ago, you were rubbing my feet with hopes of having dinner back in Florida. A moment of weakness. So if you are a believer, then you probably know that superstition that a watched pot never boils. I'm watching your pot. Yeah, and I'm watching your pot too, bucko. Not that pot, your pot. Close your eyes this instant, I, I insist. Oopsies, I just knocked over salt. Uh-oh, that's bad luck too, isn't it? <laughs> bad luck, go away! And of course, there's the one about when large numbers of snakes suddenly appear. Come on, girls! <laughs> and owls appearing in sunlight? Can a guy get some sleep around here? <laughs> you know what they say about broken mirrors. Oh, you just cursed my house for seven years. Oh, and don't step on any of those cracks. You know what'll happen to your mother's back. Oh, my back. <laughs> See, Whiskers? Your feet, like every other part of you, are worthless. Yeah, there's just no such thing as good or bad luck. Exactly. But I still say I'm the luckiest guy in the Amazon because I have got a friend like... <laughs> Three shiny rocks for a mango? Yesterday it was two rocks. <laughs> this stupid mango isn't worth three rocks. You know, you are a very smart young lady. Attention choppers, mangoes are now four rocks. <laughs> it's so much fun being stinky rich. Ugh. Ah, a hint of banana, a subtle note of moldy cheese. I am so mad. Gaspar is totally ripping us off. Who's the loser who introduced the concept of money to the jungle? Ah, uh, you, Brandy, remember? And we'll use these shiny but essentially useless rocks to barter for goods and services. Ooh. I needed some sort of economic system so I could flaunt my wealth over everyone. Except you don't have much wealth. The fatal flaw in my plan. I didn't count on having to earn it. Curse you, free market economy! <sighs> what can I do to get more shiny rocks? Think, Brandy, think. What am I good at? Um, making fun of me? Uh, talking about yourself? Spending oodles of time on your makeup? That's it, Whiskers! You're gonna get rich making fun of me? No, something about makeup! I know, I'll create my own line! I just need an angle. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! We are in the rainforest! And you thought I was slow. Don't you get it? All that stuff people slobber on their faces to make them feel young and pretty comes from here! <laughs> Yes, the rainforest accounts for much of what goes into our health care and beauty products. That's why it's so important to... Wait, hello? Are you even listening? <sighs> All I need is to figure out what these 23,000 species of plants can do. I'll call it Brandy's Youth Gel. Guaranteed to make your skin as beautiful and youthful as, well, mine. Oh, gee, that beats the itching and swelling from the last batch. Hey, that's science. Now all I need are some good employees. Tell me about yourself. Uh, 
Uh, there's not a lot to tell, really. I was born yesterday. Ah! Next! Look, I won't take anything less than a six-figure salary. Oh, and my own parking space. Next! What I'm looking for is someone with a lot of initiative and independence. Initiative and independence. Man just doesn't say or repeat what someone else says. Doesn't repeat what someone else says. Ah! Next! Next! Ah! I think you will find my resume very next! I'm a self-starter and a real people person. Great! I don't see a downside. Well, sometimes I eat my coworkers. <laughs> Next! Oh, come on, I want a job! Know what they say about it being hard finding good help? It is so totally true. All right, you can have a job. Yay! And then it goes in this cute little box. Any questions? Why do I have to wear a hair in there if I don't have any hair? Get to work. Only five rocks for this near-perfect mango. That's a lot of rocks. Please, it is a fabulous specimen and very good for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of fabulous, have you guys tried Brandy's youth gel? Oh, I feel like a three-ton calf again. I don't need any help looking younger. That's because you a lost cause. You want to lose something? Point that wing at me again. Well, I'm over here pointing. You know what? You better point. You're pointing in the wrong way. I'm <laughs> I don't know about you gals, but I'm going to skip on over to Little Brandy's and get me some more. Oh, yeah, I want to go. Oh, that sounds great. But, but, uh, my rocks. Uh, I need more rocks. Have you heard about the amazing new miracle that's sweeping the rainforest? It's Brandy's Youth Gel. That's right. Guaranteed to take years off your complexion, Brandy's Youth Gel will leave you feeling refreshed, renewed, and reinvigorated. Since using Brandy's Youth Gel, I feel refreshed, renewed, and reinvigorated. Is that okay? How much would you expect to pay for such an amazing product? Eight shiny rocks? Ten? Well, for a limited time, you can partake of Brandy's rejuvenating youth gel for the ridiculously low price of five shiny rocks. But you better hurry. Supplies are limited, so act now. Hi, I'm Brandy Harrington, creator of Brandy's Youth Gel. I personally guarantee you'll love my product, or I'll give you your money back. And my roommate, Whiskers, too. You, my friend, are our 100th customer. Sweet! Do I get something free? No. How do these people expect you to squeeze out a living? See, guys? This is what happens when we all work hard. Well, to you! Where are you going? Someone has to spend all this money we're making. Oh, my, my, my. What a magnificent pile of shiny rocks. <laughs> is it bigger than mine? No! I won't allow it! There is room for only one stinky rich animal in this jungle. <laughs> Very impressive operation. So, where is the, uh, boss? Ah, uh, buying stuff for herself with money she made off of our tireless labory. I see. Well, she must be paying you a lot for all your hard work. She must be paying you something for all your hard work. That doesn't seem fair now, does it? I think you deserve a bigger piece of the pie. She has pie too? Okay, is this like the cutest thing you've ever seen? I bought it in every color. Something wrong? No. Then why are you working so slow? Well now, Miss Brandy, uh, technically speaking, that's not slow. Whereas this... This is slow, you see? Slow. Brandy, I've been asked to speak on behalf of my co-workers. Fine, any chance you could keep working while you talk? We want a raise. Actually, we want a salary, then a raise, and better working conditions. And vanilla pudding for lunch on Wednesdays. Vanilla pudding? Yum! I'm a fair person. Let me think about it. No. No? Why should I? I mean, like, what are you going to do about it? Mangoes, figs, honey! We want more money! Mangoes, figs, honey! We want more money! Excuse me! You can't strike! Who said? You did in this 2,000-page contract you signed. Yeah, well, we quit! 
So, who's gonna do your dirty work now, Miss Big Shot? A leaf a week? Deal. What Brandy doesn't understand is that the millipede, part of the Diploda family, although equipped with hundreds of legs, is almost completely blind. the goodness of my heart, I will double your pay. But you have to triple your output. I gotta cover my losses somehow. Brandy, you got a deal. Sucker. More bark powder! More bark powder! I'll tie up more. You, you sure about... Got it! Yeah, yeah, I wanna go! There's a line down to the river. What's going on here? We are working as fast as we can, Brandy. That's not good enough. I need more money. Oh, gee, it's hard being the boss. I'm gonna give myself a bonus. More bark powder! Okay, if you say so. More bark powder! Oh, yeah, Brandy's youth gel. This is the stuff. You look younger. Much younger. Hello, who gave you guys a vacation? Hey, guys. What happened to all the bark powder? Uh-oh! We must have doubled the recipe! <laughs> well, what could happen? What's that? Cheryl! Your youth goo is reversing the aging process! Get real! My product is 100% totally safe! Here, I'll prove it to you. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. See? Nothing! Now back to work! Egg. Ha! You're right. Oh boy. I make boom boom. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, that, that sums it up pretty good. <laughs> this isn't good. This isn't good at all. Mommy, I want candy. I'm not your mommy. Mommy, I want candy. I don't have candy. Candy, mommy, candy. Listen to me, you slobbery brat. I don't have candy. <laughs> I want candy. Oh, I gotta find an antidote, some sort of aging cream or something. Aging cream, you say? Why? I happen to have my own special aging cream right here. <laughs> you want it? <laughs> Funny lizard. Shush. Yes, what's your price? All your rocks. Not a chance. Fine, enjoy motherhood. <laughs> Mommy, I make boom boom. Uh, all right, deal. I guess I kind of overdid the money thing. Yeah, but you kind of overdo everything. You know what, Whiskers? From now on, I'm going to start appreciating the simpler things. Yeah, like this pretty rock I found. Oh, it's just nature doing what she does best. Beautiful in its simplicity. Perfect in its form. Oh, <gasps> that's the biggest emerald I've ever seen! Do you know what this means? No, but it can't be good. I'm 